Hi and welcome to our first ever Weight Watchers live cook along. I'm Lindsay and I'm here with Sophie, our Hello. lovely eating out officer. And tonight we're going to show you that no food is off limits with Weight Watchers. So tonight we're cooking a recipe from our newest book, The Kitchen Favourites, which I'm sure a lot of you've got already. And it's a recipe by Rachel Campbell for a speedy spaghetti carbonara, which I think was a clear winner yeah, in the poll that we did. It was either the carbonara, there was a fish and chips, or a veggie mushroom curry. But this is the one you guys wanted, and we're here to deliver. Um, I work here in the Weight Watchers Test Kitchen. We write all the recipes, listen to all your feedback, and develop them all so that you can enjoy them. And Sophie here. Yep, I'm the official eating officer. So I joined uh, Weight Watchers last year, um, and I was appointed as the official eating officer in October 2016, um, just to prove that no foods are off limits. So I ate out in 10 cities, 10 restaurants, um, but you also have to eat in, which is why we're going to do this carbonara today for you. Yeah, so we'll get started by popping a pan on. And I'll just get the kettle, we've just boiled that there. So, what do you need to do? <laughs> if you could weigh out, 300 grams of spaghetti yeah. for me, please. So they look like fancy scales you've got there. Yeah, the way it watch your scales, so what they do is you, it's obviously just a standard scale, but it also tells the smart points value as well. Okay, cool. So you don't need to do any sort of working out, it just does it for you? No, it does it all for you. So it tells the smart point value and the fact that there's 300 grams of uh, spaghetti there. Yeah. So. Right, so I'll just give that a second to come to the boil. Uh, top tip when you're making pasta is make sure you've got a nice big pan so there's lots of room for the pasta to move about in so it doesn't stick together and plenty of water because you don't want it too shallow. Yeah. So that's looking about right. So we'll pop that in and give it a little Woo! fancy twist. <laughs> um, I'm going to set the timer for eight minutes because I like it, you know, with a bit of bite left. Yeah. Um, but if you like it a bit softer, then, you know, um, cook it for longer. So there we go. So we're off with our timer. That's on to boil now. So Sophie will get started with the sauce. So we've yep. got some really nice uh, smoked bacon here that I'll chop up. If you could get on with those mushrooms yep. for me. Um, what else have we got? We've got spring onion and some garlic. So yep. the mushrooms are just plain white mushrooms. You give them a brush rather than washing them before you chop them. Yep. You wash them, they get a bit spongy. Mm. Um, so you just want to slice them up. Yep. I've got a spring onion here. Just trim off that little hairy root at the end. Pop that in the bin. And some people leave the white part. I'm not sure why, because there's still plenty of flavour in no. there. Like, I just want to use it all. Yeah. And you can use a regular white onion here as well if you want. Um, just whatever you've got handy. A good thing about this recipe is it's really adaptable. So, if you've got any vegetarians in the family, leave the bacon out. Yeah. I would up the mushrooms then, because they're quite nice and meaty. I think it's just good. It's an all round family recipe, isn't it? Carbonara. It's not kind of. I mean, the kids like it, obviously it's a big family meal, you can make a big hearty portion or you can make a smaller if it's just for you. Exactly, exactly. And if there's any leftovers, which I doubt there will be, mm. uh, you can use them for lunch the next yeah. day. Um, so we've got some smoked bacon medallions here. I'm just going to slice them up. They are on the no count plan, so there's, there's plenty of ways you can adapt this to no count. Rather than using the soft cheese, if you use some quark, um, or some parmesan will be grating in later. So Either don't use the parmesan or you can take it out of your yeah. points, right? Smoked bacon's a good in because um, it's full of flavour. And these are already trimmed to fat, so mm. you don't need to sort of fat about cutting them up. So we've got our bacon there. I'll just go give my hands a quick wash. There's more mushrooms than I thought. <laughs> so, Sophie, how much weight have you lost on the plan so far? Um, well, I joined um, in 2007 and I lost uh, kind of five stone quite quick. Um, but then I rejoined again last year, and um, since then I've lost three stone eleven with smart points. So yeah, I'm really enjoying the plan. Um, it feels like kind of nothing's off limits, so I'm just enjoying it, and it fits really well in my busy, hectic life. So yeah, no, yeah. How do you track? What do you use to kind of? I use the app. I'm religious on the app, so when I'm walking around the supermarket, I can kind of check the barcodes of things. Um, yeah, that's the lifesaver for me. Yeah. Is that barcode scanner, where you just pick up. A, you know, a can or a jar of whatever, and it tells you so straight easy. away what the point Yeah, is. and then when you're eating out as well, so I don't know if you, if you went to Nando's or whatever, you can quickly click in Nando's in your app, um, and then that's uh, you can you can tell what you're eating out straight away. Everybody loves a cheeky Nando's. Yeah. So I'm just going to get this pan on um, with some trusty low cal cooking spray. Yeah. How many viewers are we up to, guys? 
So we've got over 200 people viewing currently. Nice. We've Hello. got Hi, everyone. lots of praise about carbonara and how much people are looking forward to cooking it. Um, and we've got the whole of Blackpool meeting watching oh, live. Hi, so. Blackpool. We hope you can come. <laughs> so in Rachel's recipe, she throws everything in at the same time. I'm actually just going to put the bacon in first so it gets nice and crispy mm. uh, and release a bit of flavour. There we go. I'll just pop that on there. And we can get rid of this yep. chopping board. Here we are. What's your favourite kind of pasta to cook? I know everybody's got one that they... I'm more of a tomato-y pasta kind of girl, so I'm like an arrogato or something like that with a bit of chilli. Um, I would so actually... A kick. Yeah, if I was at home and I was making this recipe, I would probably add chilli flakes or something in for, for no smart points, just to give it a bit of extra kick, because I do like a bit of spice. Okay, cool. Nice, so we'll just get that on to crisp up. We've got any questions in yet? Yeah, so someone would like to know um, how do you check with portion control? Um, I, I mean, I've always used the kind of the fist rule, so obviously if it's pasta, so you kind of use your, your handful, you can use the scales. Um, obviously, in terms of potatoes and things like that as well, I use the, the portion control, but if it's pasta, I tend to always use my scales. And on the app as well, it tells you, obviously, you can adjust the grams to how many grams of pasta you have, and so that's what but I always do. It's so do. easy with pasta to yeah, go over. You can, and I think when it's dry as well, I think people struggle with the dry and the, and the fresh weight, so I, I tend to always go with the dry weight and, yeah. and, and use scales just to be on the safe side. Yes, yeah, it's, it's just so you're not confused yeah. about your... Uh, so that bacon's starting to crisp up nicely. I think we'll add the mushrooms in in a sec. Yeah. Like I said, we've just used white mushrooms, but you could use some really nice chestnut mushrooms. We've got mm. that kind of woody flavour. Or even big portobello ones, just slice them right up. I do like mushrooms. I do like a good mushroom. <laughs> pop that in there. So if you want to get started with the sauce, mm -hmm. so in that bowl we have a 250 gram tub of light soft cheese and it's the one that's flavoured with herbs. Yeah. There are different flavoured variations out there but just watch the points might differ yeah. a bit. Um, so we've got that in there. If you want to add cracking an egg mm -hmm. um, and then stir in that milk as well. Yeah. And that's the basis of our sauce. So cracking the egg and putting in the milk, did you say, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And then if you just stir that all together. Yeah. We'll get these mushrooms going. I always find the mushrooms, no matter how many you put in the pan, they always shrink. Yeah, they do. They always go kind of down to half the size, but that, that's okay. They still taste good. It still taste good. So, um, then we have one of my favourite hairs, parsley. That way. Mm, nice and, nice and fresh. So we need about two tablespoons. I'll just yeah, that sorry. Have that knife. So parsley is a really versatile herb, you can use it in a lot of different things um, and it goes really well, it just kind of lifts the creaminess yeah. of the pasta a bit. So there's our two tablespoons of parsley. It's quite easy to make though, isn't it? Yeah, it's so easy. So it's perfect for like a busy weeknight, if you've got to run the kids off the yeah. days, you know, sort of classes or clubs. It's really easy to throw together and you can keep everyone happy with it. Mm. I don't know anybody that would turn down no. a plate of pasta. There we go, I think that's done. Perfect, okay. So, I hear you, you had a garlic clove. I did, you did. So Rachel's done something um, funny in this recipe. Well, not funny, just a bit different. Sorry, I'll just steal this yeah. thing. Where it's um, one clove, and you just slice it down the middle, peel it, so there's the skin off, and then throw it in, and that's it. You take it out, and it still releases flavour, but you don't have to faff about crushing it and getting all... Yeah. You know, your hands get like sticky that when you smell it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you cannot get rid of that <laughs> smell no matter how much you try. So we've got a couple of minutes on the pasta. What I'll do, we've got a mug here. Take a mug full of your pasta water before um, you drain it. It's the most important part, and I'll tell you why when we add it back into the sauce. Okie dokie, so that's all kicking away nicely there. Have you had any more questions? Is there anybody? Um, we've had quite a few people talking about no count, so okay, cool. um, do you have any recommendations on swaps? Yeah, so um, the, the bacon obviously is already on the no count plan. The soft cheese isn't, so I would change that for quark. Um, and the parmesan obviously isn't either. So I would either leave that out completely or yeah. just take it out of your points and your, and your membrane mark it down. Talking about the parmesan actually, mm -hmm. could you please grate me, there's 30 grams in the recipe, we're going to grate 20 and then we're going to leave the remaining 10 for right. presentation. Okay. 
So, uh, yeah, so there's lots of ways you can make this milk out. Oh, and of course, the pasta, remember, and change that to brown wholemeal pasta. Um, and that's your milk out. Like, it's so easy to swap things in and out um, to make it milk out, to make the plan work for you. You know, that's what it's there to yeah, do, isn't it? Yeah, it's flexible, and it, it, it works how you want it to work. Do you ever do no count or are you? Are to you be honest, no, I, I, I haven't done no count yet. I'm, I'm very much smart points, but I think I, I think sometimes when I have slow weight loss week, I have I, I think I might try and do no count just to kind of change it up a bit yeah. so I don't get bored. Uh, that's the beauty of weight watches; you can kind of mix and match. Uh, yeah, it's good to mix it up a bit, isn't it? Yeah. So that sauce is coming along nicely. It smells so tasty. Like I could just eat that out of the pan as mm. it is. Sounds lovely. There we go. Our past is nearly done. I think our timer is... Yeah. There we go. Okay, I'll just drain this. Huh? I think it's about 30 grams. Then. That's perfect. Yeah. Okay, so we'll add that in in a second. If you want to pop that parsley in there, and mm -hmm. about half... Actually, no, all that parsley. All this, yeah. Bit. Yep. So I'll just get that pasta drained. Oh, can't forget my cooking water. Be careful with this, because it's obviously really hot. So just a bit of mug full. Pop that to the side. You just want this stirring? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can just stir all that in. That would be great. How many viewers are we up to now, guys? Yeah, we're well over the 200 mark, and um, we've got a lot of people sharing the love for no count. Apparently, it's very good for weekends. Uh, we've also had a few questions in about whether this is suitable for the family, and obviously, you guys have said that it would be. Um, but do you have any favourites at home that you cook for your families? Oh. I like a good chicken dish because it's low in points and it's so easy to prepare. Yeah. I actually, I like, this is a bit controversial because my boyfriend's actually Italian. Oh really? I like a chicken fajita pasta. Mm, so it's good. All the elements of chicken fajitas, so you've got the chicken, the peppers, the spicy sort of seasoning yeah. in a pasta dish. It's delicious. Mm, sounds good. What I about think, you? What's your... I think my favourite, it's, it's a recent favourite, is the ch um, the tortilla pizzas. So oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so you yeah. use kind of, you, I mean, you can use the wholemeal wraps, so you can use the kind of mini wraps I've, I've seen as well. That are only three smart points. They're really good. Yeah, they're brilliant. A bit of tomato puree, a um, bit of mozzarella cheese or some uh, kind of light cheese on the top yeah. um, and it makes it feels like you're having a takeaway and all my friends love them as well, my sisters love them, uh, so yeah that's what I like. You to just do. need to point the wine that you have along. Yeah, yeah, right? that's the only thing, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we'll get on with this sauce now. Um, that's all the mushrooms cooked through that bacon. Have a whiff of that. Mmm, smells lovely. lovely. Bacon's nice and crispy. So I'm going to add this into this bowl. And mushrooms, yeah. yeah. I mean, what, we're only sort of 10 minutes into this yeah. and the dish is almost so done. That's quick. how quick and easy it is. Okay, so keep that pan off the heat. If you could stir all that in, yeah. yeah. And then we'll just add the pasta in. It smells really good. Mm. So this is where you get rid of your wooden spoon, as trusty as it is, and move to tongs. They're much better for things like spaghetti and noodles because you can pick it up. And incorporate everything into it. Do you okay. know, like, there's nothing worse than you having a plate full of pasta and your friend or whoever's just got all the filling. Like, where's the fun in that? So once that's all mixed in, if you want to pop that in yeah. here, just pour it all in. Yeah, pour yeah. it all in. Watch I don't spill any. That's perfect. There so we go. With this still off the heat, just for a second, sort of start stirring it in, and then turn it onto a very low heat. And what that'll do is just thicken the sauce a little bit. So we've still got 10 grams of parmesan we, we do, to use, yeah. right? So get rid of the grater and use a vegetable peeler. Mm -hmm. Now this is just to give it a nice bit of presentation. So if you just shave off yeah. 10 grams of parmesan, it's nice to take, kind of take it off the corner. Right, yeah. Yeah. And you get nice like Ooh. ribbons and curls. It's good for Instagram posts for your photos. Yeah, <laughs> get a good hashtag out of that one. Yeah. So you can see using these tongs, you just lift it up. You really get lots, everything's incorporated in there. It smells so good. I can't, I wish like Facebook had some sort of smell. smell it. It. Yeah. <laughs> Have we got any more questions? Funnily enough, uh, Julia's just said she wished she could smell this oh, right oh, now. Oh, it's so really good, Julia. Julia, um, I wish you could smell it as well. It's so tasty. We've had a couple of people asking just to um, repeat what the smart point is in this dish. Okay, so the smart points for this dish is 15 smart points, which I know may seem a little high, um, but there are ways you can reduce that. So if you take spaghetti down from 300 to 250 mm -hmm. and take the parmesan down from 30 to, 10, to 20, sorry, 
then that brings the dish down to 12 smart mm -hmm. points. It's good that it's adjustable though, you can kind of, if, you, if you've got more smart points, you can be more kind of flexible yeah. with, the, with the allowances, so you can have a bit more pasta if you wanted to, or you could have, you could kind of adjust the recipe to make yeah. it tailored to your smart points allowance, which is really good. There's 10 grams of parmesan for you. Perfect. I'm just going to move some of this out. So the last thing to go into this is that pasta water. Now this is full of like starchy goodness that comes out when you cook the pasta. And when you add it into a sauce, not just a carbonara, it can be anything, even like a bolognese, like your spicy oh, yeah. arabiata you mentioned. And it just sort of emulsifies into the sauce and makes it really silky mm. and luxurious and just that little bit more tastier. You don't need much, just add a little at a time because you can always... You know, you can, you can, sorry, you can add more, but you can't obviously do yeah. it once it's in there. So look at that. It looks so nice. It's delicious. Let's just turn that hell off. And then I think we'll get the oh, that later. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm too hungry now. <laughs> so again, these tongs come in handy. Bring your plating up. You pop it in the plate and then just give it a little twist. You get a nice little nest. I don't know if you can see that. So it looks really pretty when you plate it up. It's a good thing that it looks pretty good, it will taste really good as well, hold on. Exactly. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't matter how it looks, you just, no, like, just eat it. Just <laughs> stuff in there, right? <laughs> so there we go. Lots of nice topping, and then if we can finish off with a sprinkle of your expertly, yeah. you know, presented parmesan. I'm going to put the, just a, a little bit on. Just a couple, yeah. yeah. Just put them on. Lovely. So there we have it, that is your speedy spaghetti carbonara. I cannot tell you how speedy I know. that was. That was literally just over 15 minutes. So, <laughs> so last top tip, oh. fork and a spoon when you eat spaghetti, otherwise, I mean, you're just going to be covered. We've got these eight ones on. <laughs> so let's dig in and try some. Can we get a bit of everything? Bit of everything, absolutely. Even that parsley, just like the colour of it. Makes it stand out, doesn't it? There we go. Oh, I've got a long bit. I'm going to have to slurp. Mm. I think I've got a bit too much here, but never mind. Mmm. <laughs> it's so, so good. That's really nice. The nice spaghetti is just right as well. That parmesan is really, really a good ingredient to have in the fridge because you don't need to add a lot. No. And you can really taste it going through mm -hmm. there, right? It's really cheesy. Yeah. So before we sign off and let you all cook this for yourselves, have we got any final questions that we want to answer? Yes, so a lot of people are very hungry now, ready to go <laughs> and cook this. Um, but a very important question actually, people that are batch cooking, is this freezable? Um, I wouldn't recommend freezing this, no, because the light soft cheese would maybe separate in the freezer. You could certainly cook it and it would last sort of two to three days um, in, the, in the fridge in a Tupperware. If you want to batch freeze pasta sauces, then I recommend toma like tomato, like tomato ones, yeah. one, sort because of, they'll last much longer than a yeah. creamy one would. It just wouldn't taste as good um, once you defrosted it. So I think I'm just going to go and sit outside <laughs> and finish this to myself. I think I'll join you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much for watching, everybody. We've had a great time. Hope you've enjoyed it too, and have a lovely weekend. Yes, and happy Mother's Day as well. Yeah, happy Mother's Day, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye.